you are at Lake Rant, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about, you can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Blue Star, who says, rant about the album Deltron 3030. Now, I've listened to this album uh, a handful of times over the years, including just now, um, and it's odd. I've never quite been able to get into this album, even though it has a lot of components that I like. I mean, I love Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Um, you know, he's on and off about, like, writing, you know, really great songs. I think his his lyrical content is always extremely interesting, and he writes great theme songs, you know, like, songs based around a theme, essentially. Um, this album is a concept album, a sci-fi concept album set in the year 3030, and generally the lyrics just form a sort of pastiche of imagery of this uh, dystopian, you know, corporate overlord future... Um, where he, there's he's like a super hacker or something. It doesn't really have like a narrative per se, so much as again just being like this collage of of ideas about this future. But it's actually kind of strange because the beats would give it, I guess, more of a retro future vibe. I mean, I wouldn't say that the the music on this album necessarily sounds futuristic. Um, in fact, a lot of it is very lo-fi and uh, kind of using, you know, sampling a lot of older sounding music. So I don't know if that's exactly what they were going for, like if they were trying to make it sound retro-futuristic uh, or just cheesy, you know. But I don't know. It always kind of made the concept feel a little flat to me that the, you know, the music doesn't come off like it, you know, comes from this, the period that is being described in the lyrics, so to speak. And, um... And again, just the fact that it is it is kind of cheesy. I mean, it's fun. Dell's lyrics tend to be more goofy and fun and silly, um, not something you're meant to take all that seriously. Um, and some parts on this album, I think it really works. I think my favorite track is probably Virus, just at a glance. has the best hook. I like the, the idea of it, that he wants to bring down all these corporations with a super virus and revert them to papyrus which is a, a great rhyme. But there are other hooks on this album that I really don't like, that I think fall flat. Um, I'm trying to look for which which one had particularly stood out to me. But, like, um, honestly, like, the hardest thing about getting into this album for me has always been just getting past the opening track, 3030, because I think it has a very weak hook. Uh, just the fact that he says, this is Deltron Zero, an automator, is, like, you know, it's an introduction to the two of them being the central figures of this album, since it is a collaboration of Dell and, and Dan the Automator, but um, it just doesn't sound very good as a hook, and the song is like six and a half minutes long. So like every time I tried to get into this album, I would listen to that song, and it felt like it was going on forever, and I didn't think the hook was that interesting. Um, and you know, the instrumental has some, has some neat flourishes to it, but it does just kind of ride for like six and a half minutes. And um, you know, I don't know if it was meant to sound like epic or like this huge overture or introductory statement to the album, but I've just always thought it was, it's a, it's an all right song. I just don't think it needed to be that long or have such a, a, a weak hook, you know. Um, there's other, there's there's weird moments on this thing, like the positive contact, how the tact is like way louder than the rest of the mix. I mean, I think that was the point, but it's always just been like a little jarring to me. Overall, yeah, it's like there's a lot of weird elements to this album. There's a lot of uh, production decisions that I find, like, not that I find them questionable or bad necessarily, just that, like, they don't, uh, I don't know, they don't work for me. And um, a lot of it feels very samey, you know, since it is kind of locked into this concept, and they're uh, locked into this concept, and there's a ton of tracks. Now, I, you know, I'm a big fan of, like, Dell's album, Both Sides of the Brain, um, which has, like, a lot more variety, lots of, like, weird, interesting subject matters. You know, I feel like Dell is not somebody who really needs to be constricted to, like, a central theme like this, where he kind of runs it into the ground, you know. Um, I like that he, on other albums, will explore all kinds of stuff. Um, again, not to say that he's doing it... Uh, no justice here or anything and i haven't really looked into the lyrics on this album or anything i haven't like spent time deep diving it to get more attached to it which i assume a lot of people did like i only first found out about this album in probably 2006 or so so well after it had come out you know and i had been a huge fan of gorillas i had been a fan of uh the song um fuck what's the song called the second track on both sides of the brain which is in tony hawk 3 
Uh, but it wasn't until just a couple years ago that I finally started like looking into Dell's catalog and getting into more of his albums. So uh, I don't know, maybe eventually I'll I'll spend more time with this one and develop stronger feelings for it. But this whole kind of era, like a lot of the you know what was considered maybe nerdcore or whatever at the time, um, like a lot of the 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 rap music that is very celebrated by like the community from this period. Um, as like this smarter, headier shit. Uh, a lot of it doesn't do that much for me. I think it's just the production styles of the time just were not as interesting to me as a lot of the modern production styles, you know? And like, I care about that a lot because yes, I do care about the rapping as well, but I also just want to have like a good sonic experience, especially, you know, I'm not always going to be listening to the album paying 100% attention to every bar. So, uh, you know, and once you've spent enough time with an album, you kind of just learn it by way of hearing it so many times. So, you know, I think this is an interesting and good album, and I'm not surprised it's been, you know, heralded as such a classic and that it's one of the, the best-known Del the Funky Homo Sapien albums. But I do wish more people would, you know, look beyond this one. Like, this is the one that always turns up in all the charts. It's the one that seems to be the most celebrated. And uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite or his best, so... You know, I hope more people will look into the rest of his catalog.